Hey everybody! <laughs> I'm back with another unboxing and today we're unboxing another DC Superhero Girls. This one is Katana and I've been so excited for her release since I actually first saw them do a Comic Con exclusive of her and I was just like are they going to release her for the general public? And they did. Except she never ever ever was available um, in any of the box stores in my area. Now, I was told by um, another source that she was never available in regular brick-and-mortar stores, that she was always online, but I was never aware of this. So I used to always stalk every store weekly, if not daily, to find her, and never did. Um, so here she is. I believe that she was part of the original um, Series 1. I think she was like a Wave 2 of Series 1, because um, she still has the uh, high school... Um, ID, the superhero, uh, the superhero high school IDs, um, that were only given to, it seems, series one, and then they just kind of dwindled away. Um, student ID cards, that's what they're called. And, let's take a look at our box, which is pretty damaged, thank you, Amazon, for squishing the box. But it's okay, because I always, I planned on opening her anyway. Um, let's see, on the back it says... See, being a superhero is simple. All you have to do is run fast, be strong, and fly straight. Fly straight. Nothing to it, right? Well, maybe it is a little bit more complicated than that. Fortunately, the students and teachers of Superhero High are always there to make sure, oh, to make sense of it all. So down here it says Katana, and it says hometown is Tokyo. Her personality, Katana. Yields her sword with art and grace. She's also fearless and an, an uber funky. <laughs> Superpowers. Superior sword fighter. Expert martial artist. Martial artist. Yeah. Uh, and advanced stealth skills. Skills. Um, her super accessory is a katana, obviously. Uh, her, her best friends is Batgirl and Bumblebee, which we do have. And then her favorite, her favorite class is cutting edge fashion. So, um, see, yeah, uh, one of their things is to say that they that I'll stand on their own, so they don't need a stand because they'll stand on their own. So we'll hope, hopefully, that works. Um, since the box is already broken, we should have no problem opening it up. Um, pretty bad, guys. All right, I got her out of her box. Um, it took me a little bit of a little while to get her position right so that I could get her to stand. If you guys can see that she is standing on her own, um, no stands and not leaning up against anything, so that's cool. Um, I'll start with her hair. Her hair is pretty. Um, it's actually one of the my favorite. She's one of my favorite DC superhero girls. Uh, it's black and then it's got the red streak that goes down it. Uh, it's it's um. It goes down to her back. It's very choppy. It's soft, but it's choppy, and honestly, it's very, very thin. Uh, if you move this hair around, you can see her scalp really badly right here. Um, so it's not not the best job, Mattel, when it comes to the rooting in the hair. Um, it's, I guess, dealable. Uh, considering I got her for about $12.99 off Amazon, so um, I think for $12.99, I guess I can deal with it. Maybe. I don't know. Um, she has um, some really nice solid face paint. We have the white mask with the red dot. Uh, her eyes are brown, like a light brown. And then she's got black eyebrows that match her black hair. She's got a dark red lipstick that's closed. Uh, closed mouth. And then we move down to her um, outfit here. Now this whole chest plate right here, it's all solid, like squishy PVP. Um, not super squishy, but a little squishy. And then it's, um, silver. And we got some flower detail work on here. On the shoulders. Uh, not painted, just silver. And then the chest plate. And then we have a little bit of red right around the area here. Now underneath, she does have clothing. Uh, she has a... Is it a dress? No, it's like a shirt. Um, that's got light brown... Or I guess like a, a grayish, no, yeah, like a grayish silver color. 
and then um, the sleeves and the neckline are black and then it turns into like a um, the middle of the dress has ribbon detail that's red around the waist and then around the edges are also um, threaded in the same color red and I don't I don't I, it's the same fabric so it's black fabric that's in the middle here but if you look close enough if I can get it to focus in that black fabric there is some black prints of flowers so that looks really nice I applaud Montel for that oh I also meant to say um, part of her armor she has this shoulder piece is that a separate piece okay this this shoulder piece is a separate piece um, it's got a bamboo coloring to it I think it's supposed to represent bamboo but it is plastic uh, moving down she does have leggings that are the same color as her top so that grayish silver color and I believe they go all the way down no they're they're uh, floods they're a little bit longer than capris but not quite pants so we got floods um, her shoes are also um, that rubbery PVPVC, PVC. Um, they're pearlescent white and they got the lace work here but um, like I said there's no it almost looks they almost look like um, knee-high high tops um, like chucks type thing so that's pretty cool uh, let's spin her around we can take a look at her back uh, nothing really different to look at here other than um, the the shirt has a really nice seam on it so uh, and it's hemmed well too so I can say that about her the clothing that she actually has that's cloth is hemmed very well and seamed well so they do that well and then here is her actual katana um, it is silver the, the blade is silver and then her the handlebar has a little bit of texture to it if you guys can see that and it's black so that's cool as well um, articulation she's got the same type of articulation as all the DC superhero girls at least uh, from the wave one so her she's got the shoulder the shoulders uh, move the um, she has the elbow joints and then she has the wrist joints her head goes back and forth and up and down uh, so you can make her sit and you can also bend her legs um, bend, she has the uh, knee joints so that's super cool um, overall I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with her I'm, I'm happy to have her to add to my collection um, will I be getting any of the other version of the katanas probably not I just wanted her signature look um, that's all I was going for with this collection I am super excited to have her in my collection. Um, so comment below. Let me know if you have Katana in your DC Superhero Girl collection, or if you're looking for her still, or if you never bothered, or you know how you feel about the DC Superhero Girls. Um, I'd like to know because they were actually my first, one of my first sparks that I had um, in Mattel for a long time. So um, yeah. Um, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.